So hello everyone, my name is Priyanka Dubey and I know I am uh, posting this video like uh, after a long long time, like after 10 days or so. So quick update is that I was traveling back and forth to different places. It was also some kind of wedding and also I got um, cold and everything else. So life was busy, hectic and that's why it just took me some days to return back on youtube so yeah i'm back and i will try to update videos over the period of time in a timely manner so yeah this was the update and today's video is gonna be about the fonts that i use for kdp and other my businesses and these fonts are 100% free. These fonts can be used for commercial purposes. So if you are scared that I will get the copyright issue or whatever trademark issue. So this is not going to happen. So these are the few sites which I uh, use on a daily basis to make use of this 100% free commercial fonts. Okay. So without wasting much time, let's get started. And yes, before getting started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this channel with other people on the social media or your friends. It, it will help to boost my channel to other people on the YouTube. Thank you so much. So let's get started. So first website that I use to get 100% free uh, commercial use font is called as the font.com and this is the website which is which works good so now here you have to make sure that the font that you are going to download and use should be free how you will do that first of all you can see how to install a font and etc so if you have windows you can just uh, right click on the font files and you can install if you have mac you can do this so they are very kind of uh, helping you to uh, let you know that how to install a font. So now getting a font here, how it works, like you have to work in this area. So you, what you can do is you can select any font type from here. For example, let's suppose you are going to uh, take fixed width. Once you, what you can do is you can go to the more options. And then you have to select 100% free. After selecting 100% free, you have to submit. And once you will do that, you will get the access to all the free commercial use fonts. Okay. So you can see here it is available in public domain. It is 100% free. So these are the fonts you can use absolutely for free your kdp books or any other um, print on demand platform or, or any other uh, product you are making okay so this was the first tool the second tool uh, the second website sorry the second website that i use to get the fonts for free is the most favorite that is called google fonts obviously this is something which works like wonder and all the fonts that are available here are for commercial use so you do not have to worry about for example if you want to make use of um let's suppose lato or poppins or whatever what you can just select it and you can see here you can uh, download it and if i go to the license these licenses are licensed under the open font license you can use them in the product and projects print or digital commercial or otherwise so you can see if you select any font from google fonts website you can use it for commercial purpose 100 percent free so it is quite good uh, as well so the third one that i'm going to talk about right now is called 1001fonts.com okay here what you can do is you can see this little uh, checklist that is that is called this 
font is free for commercial use this uh, this font is free for commercial use uh, and but all the fonts are not free here so what you have to do is you have to go into the font categories and then from the special corner you have to select free fonts for commercial use okay and then only you will get all the fonts that are available for uh, commercial use so you can see here these all are free 100% free and you can use it if you want to know how it will look with my text you can just type here coloring book for kids so you can see uh, how it will look in other uh, different fonts for example in precious in great vibes in alex brush beyond wonderland etc etc so you can also make sure that your text looks good with whatever font you choose okay so the now the next website that i use is called fontspace.com and here also all the well, all the fonts are not free obviously a personal users are free personal users are free so you have to make sure that the web that the font that you are going to use should be free now how you will do that you will go into the fonts option and here you will select the commercial use and now you will get all the fonts absolutely free okay so this is how it works and these all are free right here also you can write something to make sure that how it looks in your particular in your particular font so i typed something like this and it looks like this so whatever font you select you can if you like it you can download it you can use it okay so these are the particular four uh, websites that i use to download the fonts and to make use of it now how i structure them how i make sure that i do not overlap them is i just make one folder here and that is free fonts for commercial use now i create different folders here like this and i will name it for example uh, google fonts then the font etc etc okay so all the websites that i am using i will just make different folders for them and i will download them and i will keep it inside them so this way it will be organized for my own uses so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comment section below and support my channel because when you like when you like my videos comment down into my videos uh, in youtube takes it as a hint to uh, you know promote it to different people on the uh, on the platform so yeah it helps me um, like that so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video